<laughs> as he figures it out. <laughs> I could always get the numbers or open the map and you can look at them, but it's very complicated. There are Each animal barn runs approximately 16 different processors to randomize the processes. Oh, there was one thing I forgot about, and that is the truffles from the pig barns is an output. Anybody remember where I left my bale trailer earlier today? It's probably down here or up on the farm. Who knows where I put things. But there is a random, and when we get back over there, I'll show you that, the random truffle from a pig barn. If you don't know why there's truffles, it's not the chocolate, nice, tasty kind. But uh, it's a root thing that pigs can sniff from under the ground. So what we do, uh, granted they don't find them in their barns, but who's to say what happens when we're not here? The farmers take their pigs out hunting truffles, and they find the truffles and bring them back to the farm. So if you're very lucky, you might get a truffle and <laughs> you thought that the gold was rare. A truffle is worth 50000 I think, $50,000. And it's like a 1 in 5,000 chance per every minute for a truffle to appear. And I, we're running two weeks and I haven't seen a truffle yet. But we'll show you how to pick up your truffles if uh, you get them. Milk comes from the cow barns and can be delivered to uh, several places. The dairy and also the Campbell soup or sold off. So yep, you can pick up milk just by bringing the standard milk trailer. The one that I loaded the glue in and make tasty milk having milk, water, and glue in the same trailer. but. You can bring the milk over to the dairy to create cheese, or you can bring it up to Campbell's to create soup. There's a couple creamy, creamy soups, like cream of potato and cream of onion up there. And I'm just going to grab a few bales. I'm not going to sit here and bore you to death with my baling. Oh, to walk the pigs. <laughs> You're not going to be able to walk the pigs. The farmers sneak them out at night when you're not looking, and they take them truffle hunting. Here, we'll put this up. Go back over to my barns. Then we're going to go see dead people. Once again, I will do one more uh, DLC pack. Save your points if you have any. We'll do one more of the New Holland DLC pack giveaway at the end of this broadcast or getting closer. You can check your points by doing exclamation point points. And each entry will be five points. Enter up to 100 times. So if you have 500 points, you get max entries. If you have already won, then uh, I would appreciate it if you stay out of this drawing. If you already won the DLC pack, that is. There's only one person, Viper. Well, <laughs> Viper won yesterday. Did you get that, Viper? Your package okay today? I sent it over. Hope you got that. Should be on your Steam account right now. But basically, if you do win that DLC pack, I will need you to let me know if you want it purchased through Giants or through Steam. If it's Giants, I can send it directly to your Twitch message account, the code after the broadcast. And if it is Steam, we will have to uh, get. You will have to send me the email account that you signed up with Steam. And here are my barns, and we've already done the chick. We'll go over to the chicken barn over here. And basically, you just get over close to your bale trigger. Hit O to unload your bales. And let's test this. I've never tested. Watch the server crash. I've never tested these on the server yet. Somebody probably has, though. Did I lose the bales already? I think it took some off. Or no, I only grabbed six of them. So... <laughs> That's weird. There we go. Alright, so I dumped them in. We got one stuck on the trailer. We can shake it off. There we go. 
So that puts weed into the barns as well. I didn't read the whole line. Awesome. Well, let's see. Where is it? This chat's going by so fast. Don't oh, do we sell pig leashes in the store? <laughs> yep. To walk the pigs. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyhow, that's pretty much the animal barns. Let's get in something a little faster. My egg truck. Because we'll do a little pizza delivery. They need eggs. Truffles on the pig barns are picked up if you're so lucky as to find one. And you'll know if you find one by going inside real quickly. You'll see a truffle count. You, you have to have, I think, 150 pigs before they even look for truffles. So, or hogs. So we're not going to have any truffles in here yet. But if you did get lucky and hit a truffle after you have a full load of hogs in your barn, just go to the sell truffles, and if there were any there, you'd get 50000 for each one you find. But like I said, it's rare. I imagine we'll see them eventually. And there's our cement factory. Let's go over to the cemetery. Oh, I don't know. It scrolled up. Do you see dead people? I saw that. <laughs> I, we're going to see dead people. <laughs> I didn't miss. I might have missed it, but it scrolled off my screen probably a long time ago. I did see that movie, The Sixth Sense. It was awesome. Dead people. The cemetery. How the cemetery works is it is a timer. And it shows that how many game hours have played. If you fast forward, the time will go up fast as well. But basically, every 250 hours of gameplay time, another tombstone will appear because somebody has died in Pleasant Valley. And we have se over 750, so in another 52 hours, we will have dead body number four lined up right about here. So another two and a half days. And the whole cemetery actually holds 19 dead people. So a lot of hours if you're going to get them all. Every time that death occurs, a random number is generated, which is that person's inheritance money. And seeing as they're a relative of yours, you get their inheritance. And it's a random number between $10,000 and $100,000. So that's the way the cemetery works. You don't have to do anything. But it's more of a timekeeper to see how many hours you have had the game running. And that's where the cemetery comes in. The church is just for decoration. And you need a church in front of the cemetery. And there's a... Uh, let's see. We're going to go down to... Well, we'll take the back roads or the hills. And drop off these eggs so we can get more pizza going. I had a bug in the egg thing that I fixed last night. It was going through, uh, I think it went through those 300 eggs we had down there in just a couple of hours, <laughs> which it was not supposed to. So we fixed that. Those are the little things we're finding. Then we're going to head over to the fairgrounds. Fairgrounds tutorial coming up next while it's still running. Now... I showed earlier today the fairgrounds before it was running. Now this is the pickup spot for pizza. So eggs go up back. We bring our eggs over to the trigger back here. And you can see we're out of eggs. We'll unload our eggs. I love the way you unload and the tailgate goes down. 158 eggs. They went in so fast I hope none of them broke. That is your pizza place and then you'd be able to pick up the pizza from here in the box truck as well. In the fairgrounds in case you missed the surprise last night and everybody's probably wondering how we're doing over here. 
but uh, when you finally unlock the fairgrounds you will have the option to build another object I'm just gonna go by that place show you construction process today if you want to see that watch back yesterday's broadcast if you want the rest of it to be a surprise what it actually ends up being then don't watch yesterday's broadcast but for those that were watching last night here is where we are with the progress we're getting there it's still at the very early stages we are at 52% of the cement we need and I am speeding up the process every time I uh, take down the server for an update I throw another I threw another 500,000 cement so later on hopefully we'll get another 500,000 cement in there a couple more of those times and we'll have that whole cement process built just to get it tested so we can get this map to you guys the faster I get things tested there was one little bug in that one of the wall pieces on the other side was already showing found that last night I knew something was messed up with that but that happens one little number out of place so that's why we got to go through the whole building process of everything the cement only makes so fast on the map but we're cranking it out back to the fairgrounds for a revisit uh, before I go to the fairgrounds because it's really brief I don't know if I ever covered it I think I did several small changes do exist in the map and we didn't show you the bale shredder but we'll leave that we're, we've been broadcasting quite a while here today two o'clock yeah six and a half hours already and I want to get Thernadad hooked up here sometime this evening if he's still awake I know he's an old man now and probably falling asleep on it no I don't even know how old he is <laughs> But we added the biogas plant back over here for KW. <laughs> so you can, it's a much smaller version, but yeah, you can bring your wood chips to sell the biogas right across from your BGA. And that's back in there, just in a different place and a little bit smaller. Right across from your BGA. Yeah, it should have done the, the... I think by the end of the broadcast, everybody was so whooped last night from working. <laughs> hey, I put 500,000 in, and in the two hours of broadcasting... <laughs> in the two hours of broadcasting... Uh, offline they got all 500,000 of that over to that factory so I'm pretty impressed with Dan and Scott moving all that right over to the factory that was pretty cool in two hours and the fair is the end game thing if you weren't here earlier watch back video number one or part two of number one or I don't know how many parts we're gonna have these broken up into but the fairgrounds takes several products and once those products are there you have it has to have all the products in one note on the fairgrounds that is very important to know if you are working on building your fairgrounds and have not done it yet and it is not listed anywhere and some people have not had a problem but the best way to start the fairgrounds is and some of you might not know this to save one product and usually it's best if you save like for instance a load of Pepsi or a load of pizza something that fits one trailer full which these each take 25,000 for each type so just save one whole product to dump in at the end the reason why I'm letting you know that is because it is like any other processor if there's a partial load in the last product say you dumped off say your last thing you dumped in was 
30 cows. Well, you're only going to get, uh, seeing as it's, uh, do the math here for me, 300 cow beef to start the, to go into the fairgrounds. If you only put in 30 and it's your last item, the fair is only going to have 10% of the beef and therefore only run 10% of the maximum 4,000 minutes. Now granted, you bring more beef over, it'll start it up again, but it will shut off. And you want to just, if you bring the uh, whole amount over for the last product, dump in the whole amount of the last product within the, before the next hour ticks off, you will get the full 4,000 minutes of the fair running. And that is going to produce $1,000 per minute. And we added a new section here, which needs to be washed. <laughs> we need to get a spray washer down here. <laughs> Everything got very dirty overnight. But we'll go through the new section, and you'll see some ramps appear once the fair is built. These ramps, as you can see, all have motorized vehicles. Any motorized vehicle that is parked on the ramp, sorry we're mowing down people, earns $50 extra per minute. Any of the motorized vehicles on any ramp will earn $50 extra per minute. You might not see my money going up that fast, but between me, the server, and everybody on the server, but our money does go up pretty darn fast. But each extra vehicle, $50. So the six vehicles, that's an extra $300 a minute we're earning. For each vehicle that has a fill capacity, which includes your tippers, your cedars, your forage wagons, that you have parked in the center boxes, your, I'm not sure yet, we haven't, I'll have to run an offline test, but uh, I don't know if the AR containers have to be on a trailer to be recognized. I don't think they do. But any of them that's in the middle section each earn $25, and they just have to have a fill capacity on them, and they will earn $25 extra. So you can actually put a combine in here as well because it does hold stuff. But the combine section is this side over here and for every combine type that you have that's parked in the boxes on this side they each earn $100 so a lot of people when they got our fare running we all brought some vehicles down that were sacrificing for the extra money because that right there is $600 extra a minute for all, having one each of the in each of the six combine spots so that's just an extra way to add some money to your fairgrounds by once it's running bring your vehicles down and fill up those boxes right there you'll see we even have people walking in the barns as well not too much we don't want to lag out everything so we didn't increase the number of people on the splines but we have several people walking around to give it a little bit more which they also won't show up until the fair is running now but we did get some people in there and when you do get the fair built, that surprise building over there that I was just showing you before we headed over here, in order to find out where that is, you go to this arrow, and that arrow will stay here while, whenever the fair is here. We'll just jump over there real quick. And I'm talking about this building right here, the foundation. There will be a buy trigger for that to start this whole process. When you get to that point. So that pretty much covers the fairgrounds. Where's my truck? There we go. The bale maze is working now. And you can actually Donut Acrobat. Thanks for the follow. You can actually run the bale maze. It's a little bit interesting. You get farming. Thanks for the follow as well. It gets a little bit sticky on the walls going through the bale maze, but if you go into the bale maze, you can try to find your way through. And I already took the wrong way, so let's go back. Yeah, if you hit a wall, some of the passages are narrower, and you might
might get a little stuck, but let's go around this way and then head over here. But you can see, you can follow through and try to find your way. And where it gets a little sticky, just move back and forth. And you can work your way through the maze. There we go. And eventually you will find your way out of the maze, which is not that way. And not that way. <laughs> I'm lost in the maze again. There we go. So one side, you go in one side, you come out the other. You've done it. And I should have had one more wall in there to make you go through. There's actually two ways through the maze. I just took the short way. But you can see the bale maze from the top view. You can kind of cheat. Say, oh, let's see. How do we go through the maze? There you go. It's actual working maze. All right, was there anything we didn't cover that anybody can think of? Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a quick loop de doop around the map to make sure I covered everything. And I think we might have everything done. Oh, actually, the speedway. We were in the speedway earlier today, but... All of our donators that donated today, whoops, dead end. I do that all the time. I'm gonna have to put a gate down there as well. There's your one of your Pepsi machine things for the speedway. I mean for the fairgrounds. We'll have to make that road dirt so I know not to go down it. We'll head over to the speedway. And if anybody thinks of anything else that I have forgot to mention, we'll get that in. But I think we pretty much covered everything on the map today and with a little bit more detail. And I, like I said before, the two videos, the, uh, what do we got now? Two, three, four, six, and almost seven hours of video on the map just to show you everything will be re- I will go through them again at some point and mark different locations so anybody needs to follow up or when you get the, finally get the map, they'll be used as the tutorial videos where you'll have a list on our website. We'll point you to that with the video and you'll be able to get the list in, okay, a minute 34 video one will tell you this information on what you're looking for. So that's the way we're going to work that. The Pepsi machines do not need to be filled for the fair to work. As a matter of fact, you can put Pepsi down at the fair at any time. And you don't have to... They're, they're there even when the fair is not running. So you can have a little extra Pepsi machine down there. Once again, on the racetrack, you can actually hold your races. The middle person's the starter. You get in the trigger, and we'll pop up the gate. There you go. Just hitting the O key when you're in the center yellow box. We'll drop the gate so you can race around the track. And it actually is a full track here. And the race car works much better. It's harder to control, but it works much better. We'll take a been around the track and thank all our donators and anybody else that's donated as well today to help us out here with our projects and everything we're doing you next week if you show up on the Friday broadcast or any of our broadcasts later on in the week if once I get them in you will find your new donate donor plaques in the raceway with your twitch names on them and thank you, Cheeseball42. So several new ones came in this weekend between last night's broadcast and today's. We do have the giveaway to do in just a couple minutes. And I will start that up if uh, the darn bot's still working. But so far we have a few people. And if you donated again and your donation moved you up a level, basically less than $10, you're going to get a blue sign. 
If you donated 10 to $50, your name will be on silver. And I know that Derpy's up in the silver now. He's go out of the silver. He's over the $50 mark and moving up to gold. So he will have a gold plaque in our Speedway. For Thanks for all the donations. But we wanted to recognize you guys for all your hard work or sending us the money to help us out. You guys work hard for your money. And this is all I can do right now, being unemployed and with a spinal disease, to make any type of money. <laughs> so we're going to recognize you guys by putting your donation sponsor around the track and we're going to have several more up here next week and some of them will change but yes we have several donors already and thank you all very much for that and they're both viewable from above and below and we have a lot of fence too so by all means we're just going to work the gold ones in the middle, silvers toward the outside, and uh, blues a little bit further. So, gold ones get center attention, our biggest donors right now, and there will be more added to that list next week. Thank you all. I thank every each and every one of you. I understand if you can't afford to donate, believe me. Not being able to work and waiting for a disability claim, I have absolutely zero money. So if you're running streams, only money I get is from what you guys have helped me out with. And I've been doing using most of it to uh, increase the stream quality. Like we already upgraded internet, got a second monitor. Thanks to several of our large donors made that happen really fast for me, which is awesome. Now let me see if this bot is working enough to do... Oh, it's still working. To do a giveaway on the DLC pack one more today. And this will be for the New Holland DLC. And you can choose whether you want it given to you through Steam or the Giants code to get it. Everybody can join unless you're part of our server and Thernadad, you, you by all means, please. Even if you're, Thernadad's part of the server, he can join. <laughs> He's given more to the server than any man should have ever thought of. So uh, by all means, KW, Thernadad, anybody that's out there, jump in and I will start the giveaway process. You are allowed 100 maximum entries at five points per entry you can check your points by doing exclamation point points the way you earn points is by viewing us uh, the more you view the more points you win and actually I'm gonna let Hunter Farmer you can join in this too we never I originally wasn't gonna have people on our server get our if you don't have the DLC that is Dan jump in but these guys have been working their butt off and deserve it just as much as anybody else so if you're part of the server crew and you win oh well so be it but let's start the giveaway process uh, we have several people in here so if they do get lucky they get lucky we'll give you some time to use your points up and you can type again exclamation point points but to enter you type exclamation point raffle with a space followed by the number of entries which would be 100 maximum so that is how you join the raffle and we'll let that run for a little bit before we end here today use your points get in the raffle We'll have more down the road as things go on, especially when we get into map building number two. Let's run by down our schedule one more time for new followers. We have a relatively loose schedule, but we're going to try to get more stuff pinned down. And currently on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I do a map class 
teaching you some map. It is live. We run into bugs and things that I forget and stuff, but we try to get through those. And we, if we run into problems, we'll fix them the next week. But teach you how to do stuff, and you'll find that we are all human. Map making is a process and very involved. You have to have patience to do it, but we'll show you how to get it done. On Tuesday nights at 9 p.m., Big Daddy, which we will announce during the 7 p.m. show as well, but Big Daddy is linked to our website. He does a modding tutorial class, shows you how to alter, edit mods. <laughs> Number three is on Fridays we do another map making class at 7 p.m. So Tuesday and Fridays for the map class at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Followed by our weekly preview, whichever map we're working on, we do a catch you up type preview Friday night at 9 p.m. and that goes for as long as it takes. Uh, probably for sure be doing once we get past this map in two weeks, this map should be released to you no more than two weeks from yesterday. Uh, so probably that last preview two weeks from Friday we will get the release information out to everybody that shows up for that stream as well. You'll be first. And then we'll release it on the website and all the information everywhere else thereafter. We'll get you the links here first on the stream to thank everybody that's watched here. After those previews are done, we will have more previews, but they will be on the second map making project. We'll figure out if we don't have enough content in the very beginning. We will just have you guys show up and watch us farm or do whatever we're doing on that Friday. But I also want to get to stream more often. We do have YouTube. Everything is put up on YouTube slash Dadgenet. All our D-A-J-N-E-T, all our YouTube videos. But also you can click on our Dadgenet Mods logo below the stream and that will bring you to our main forums page. At the top of our main forums page, you will have links to our YouTube site, our Wix site where we have some mods right now, our Facebook page as well. All of those links are right there and any help you need, we try to help a lot of our followers here in the stream as well as followers there are always helping out and that's great. I suggest you use the forums help center, help support on our forums. Register there. It's easy. It's free. But that's the quickest way you're going to get a response. It's very hard nowadays with Twitter and Facebook and everything else to get responses and check everything. The YouTube videos, I do check them, but you'll wait longer if you're responding on YouTube or asking questions on YouTube or Facebook than you do in other places. Now, is it just X-Men that lost the broadcast, or is it everyone? It shows I'm still live. Everybody else good to go before we do the drawing? Let's see who we've got, in, how many people we've got in that drawing for the DLC pack. And hopefully you still have the broadcast. I'll wait just a minute and see if anybody else pops up there. We have several people in for the giveaway. Okay, just X-Man lost the broadcast. If X-Man wins, we'll wait for him to come back. He does have some entries. Anybody want to get their last entries in? Now's the time to do it. I'll give you another minute and a half. Wrap up your entries by doing exclamation point raffle with a space and the number of entries you want up to a total of 100 entries. And there are five points per entry. Awesome. Good to know. You've got about another one more minute and we'll draw the drawing for the 
New Holland DLC for Farming Simulator 2015. Your choice, Steam version or the Giants version? <laughs> yep. It's exclamation point P O I N T S. And that'll tell you how many points you have. And if you just followed, you're going to be a little bit short. So next broadcast, keep showing up. We'll get it there. And we will have more giveaways in the future. But uh, we're going to close up this here in just four, three, two, one, and zero seconds. And let's pick our winner. We'll stop our entries, and here goes our winner for the next New Holland DLC is, dun 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 dun, X-Men 1971. Who is following? Which is a follower? All right, X-Men. What I need to know from you is, is it going to be the Steam version, or is it going to be the Giants version that you need? And if you let me know that... Awesome, X-Man. Let me uh, see if I could take care of that for you while we still have everybody here. Let me get over to Giants. And get that for you. Let's see how quick this goes through. Check the email. Real quick here. And I have your code and the link for you to download it. And I am going to send that right through to your Steam address. If I can figure out how. Here we go. All right. Let me know if you get that code. You should have received a message through Steam. Uh, not Steam, through Twitch. Your messages, your box. Yeah. And it will have the code to download that with the link you need. All right. Very good. Congrats again. And... Thanks, everybody, for watching today. It's been a seven-hour broadcast altogether. We'll get these streams 
record it up to YouTube. I thank everybody again for all their donations. You guys are incredible. Thanks for the support. Yep, we have a 30 second delay, so hanging out just for another 30 seconds. And if nobody has anything to ask about, we will uh, call it a day.